no lecture on tumors malignant tumors is complete without understanding immune immune response to immune prevention of cancer <clears throat> when the cancer cell all cancer cell becomes cancer cell basically it stops unlike a normal cell it doesn't stop to multiply and that is because normal cell when it comes in contact with the other normal cell there is a mechanism by which a calon is secreted and calon acts on this dna telling it to start functioning and stop multiplying now this function is stopped by the in the cancer cell therefore it continues to multiply despite coming in contact now this multiplication function is a characteristic of the primitive cell however what we are interested in here is that these cancer cells if they are cancer cells they will have on their surface in their nucleus and in their cytoplasm antigens specific to them that means not found in normal cells so on the cell surface in the cell cytoplasm and also in the nucleoplasm they will have antigens not specific to any other cell specific to the cancer cell and these are called as tumor neo antigens now naturally normally if the cancer has to happen normally these tumor new antigens are identified by the immune system primarily the cell cell mediated immunity and destroyed but sometimes these antigens are able to excite a b cell response b cell immune response which secretes an antibody and this antibody sort of carpets these cells forming immune complexes but now the cell mediated immunity the cell mediated immunity the lymphocyte here is unable to recognize these cells so this phenomenon is called as eclipse phenomenon or carpeting phenomenon then what happens is that these immune complexes these these uh, red and blue immune complexes circulate in blood immune complex circulate and they bind the we'll take it yellow here 
So this is the F A B, the variable portion of the cell mediated immunity reaction type and this is the intracellular portion. So this is called as F C and this is called as F A B. Now the F A B one is responsible for recognition and other is responsible for killing. So these immune complexes actually block the FAB portion and therefore this lymphocyte loses the capacity to recognize non-self. So it loses the capability to recognize non-self. That means the tumor, it has blocked the T cell which can sort of attack the tumor. So this mechanism, this is the mechanism by which the tumor evades the immunity. So if we take out the tumor, resected tumor limb. So, so supposing here is the tumor, here is the tumor. Remove the most of the tumor surgically. Irradiate then all the antigens the nuclear, the cytoplasmic and the surface. The nuclear, the cytoplasmic and the surface antigens will be exposed to the immunity. So we irradiate, we, we resect, we irradiate and we re-implant. And therefore, these antigens will have a B cell response against them. And a T cell response. The cell mediated immunity response. And this enhanced response will kill the remaining tumor cells. So resect, read, resect, radiate, re-implant, the three R's, resect, radiate, and re-implant. Surgery was developed in Japan, and the last paper that I saw about it was that at about eight, three years, there was absolutely no regrets. The second thing that is, that is, has some hope is that these are the FAB pieces and this is the FAB responsible for recognition and this is the FAB responsible for action. So by a plasmid, by a plasmid carried by a virus, this plasmid is carried by a virus, you bind the recognition FAB to the kill, killing FAB. So this is the killing FAB. So only this is active 
and this is finished. Now this cell will only act against that cancer cell against which it has already been immunized. So the method is that you extract the blood, you isolate lymphocytes, isolate lymphos, culture them, <clears throat> put in the tumor specific antigen they they can be cd5 but this is shared with the normal cell but there are antigens like cd19 or cd23 which are specific to cancer cells So now after this, you use the virus to block FABPs so that now it can't be confused and therefore this type of antigen receptor with has a single and only attacking piece will attack only the cell that it has been developed against. So now that lymphocyte has got a FAB receptor stuck to the at its gun the F the killing FAB receptor and this type of cell is called this type of receptor is called as chimeric antigen receptor. No need of recognition, it goes and straight away hits the cancer cell. So this, these type of cells are called as CAR T cells. And if you develop CAR T cells against the tumor, they are absolutely, I mean, 90% five-year survival in hematological malignancies. But in bone tumors like osteosarcoma, this survival is reduced. So somehow, the microenvironment of the tumor prevents the these these cultured lymphocytes from acting and therefore they have recently started taking lymphocytes from the tumor and when they are converted into CAR T cells, they are more effective in, much more effective in, in tumors. So this is the latest about immunotherapy in tumor. 